Welcome to The Daily Show. Thank you, Trevor. And congratulations on a book that is drawing accolades from every single person who has read it. It's a powerful story. The book is titled Know My Name. Yeah. For a long time, you were anonymous, and then you chose to come out with your name and your full story. Why? Well, I wanted the title to be declarative and definitive, to say I am choosing to step forward and I'm not going to hide anymore because this is not my burden to carry. I feel like at this point, I know who I am. I know what I'm worth and I know what I'm capable of. And when you know yourself on that deep level, it becomes very hard to mess with you. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like that's what the story and the book is all about. You know, you... you you wrote down your experiences on the pages of this book, and you write beautifully, but it's also painful and triumphant at the same time. How long did it take you to, to, to move from a place in your life where you were only thinking about the pain to then moving to a place where you're like, no, I'm going to turn this into my triumph, and I'm going to turn this into a rallying cry? Mm, well, one Post-it note I had next to my desk as I was writing just said, feel what I felt. And it was very important for me to just acknowledge every feeling I had experienced, to not tuck any of them away and to lay it out on the page. And it's funny because I worked so hard to get on the paper exactly what I was feeling inside. Right. And as soon as that aligned, it would click and I would move on and I wouldn't think much about it. But when I was on Oprah, she picked up the book and as she was reading passages to me, I was listening and I was like, damn, like, that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, uh... Yeah. That's, what, that's what Oprah does. She, yeah. uh, she'll read your book to you and then you're like, I need to buy my book. You're like... <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm a genius. Right. I just... <laughs> But, but, I, but I understand why so many people are connecting with it, because the book is not just powerful in that it tells your story. It unfortunately tells the story of so many other women out there, not just in America, but in the world. Yeah. You know, the Brock Turner case was one where everyone felt like the case wasn't handled well. Everyone felt aggrieved on your behalf. You, you had... You had the story where it, it was cut and dry. Yeah. And you talk about it in the book. You talk about the pain, the shame, and how people try to shift it to you. What do you... What do you hope people will learn about being a victim of sexual assault and how hard it is to share your story? I write in the book, your character is not what caused your hurts to happen. And as you go through this process, you will find people who try to intimidate you, who will scare you into silence, people who want to humiliate you and tell you that you are crazy and you are small. And I want to say, you are not crazy and you are not small. So know your truth, hold on to that truth, and it will carry you where you need to go. Just one of the more powerful passages in the book is where you talk about the actual assault. And because you were blacked out, you have to tell the story partly from what you remember and then using the account of the Swedes who came to your aid. You know, those two Swedish men who came and, and chased Brock Turner and, and basically filled in the, the pieces of the puzzle, you know? Mm -hmm. What's interesting is, is, is what you write about them. And you say it made you realize that it wasn't... You know, in all of these stories, it's not just the person that is doing the bad thing and the person that the bad thing is being done to, but there are those who see it and identify it as wrong and they do something about it. Yeah. Why was it so important for you to speak about it in that way? Can I just say that one of the Swedes, Carl, is here in the audience tonight? So can we just clap? <laughs> Um, anytime you see him on the street, you are now required to clap. <laughs> 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 um, 
Um, it's so unbelievable to me the clarity of mind that they had to jump into action to not only tackle him and pin him to the ground, but they were speaking to him, saying, what the F are you doing? Do you think this is okay? Apologize to her. They wanted to make sure I was being taken care of. And I think for me, on the same night where one of the most terrible things happened, this miracle happened, which is that I was saved. And so as I went through the trial and I was stuck in sort of the darker parts and really down on myself, I still had this hope that there are people out there who want me to get better, who are doing the right thing. And I just have to keep following that part. And that's how I'm going to get out on the other side. I mean, if there's guys like that that exist in this world, why do we lower our expectations? Yeah. <laughs> We don't, we don't need to make excuses for predators. We don't need to make excuses for people who don't know how to n treat another person decently, who don't know right from wrong, because there are people sitting here who do. Wow. <laughs> the book is a celebration. The book is a journey. It's powerful. The book is your life. Thank you for sharing it with us. Thank and you. congratulations on everything. Know My Name, a beautiful story, is available now. Chanel Miller, everybody.